This is uh, kind of our topic of the week record every Friday. It's happening everywhere. <laughs> Government laid it on you. Can you back into work any way they can? <laughs> All right, but ain't no job nowhere. Who's kidding who? Who's kidding you? Gotta be a bit dim to not realize. Giving you all this trouble now. Even when you're 60 years old, like me. Oh, yeah. All this trouble. Back to work, you must go. But there ain't no jobs for a 16 year old. Make it pay, you can't make it pay now. So after a time, you got your big time. They said you gotta do this. I'm gonna help you, but it's just another lie. Big lie. Get you into something like a suit. Put my good job, I can't cover your cars all right. What a load of rubbish. A picture of a woman looking like she's happy. She way maybe she different when she get paid. Probably just a model, yes. Oh yeah, another scam from the government. You say it ain't true. Do you think we all idiots, Mr. Boris Johnson? Cause we know no, no way. What's that you say? There's all back into work. I went to the library. See how many people my age was out of work. To the library, my baby, she's not working too. And there is said in the records 1692. Got no work just round here, a six mile radius. All right, nobody working hardly. All the industry gone abroad, and no whole Brexit. Just lies, Mr. Same old thing since I was young. Same old thing. All right, ain't gonna get you no help at all. You're looking out for work. You don't have a chance. But I reckon now that should be in politics. You gotta prove what they know before they're elected. Scheme to be a complete idiot. No help at all. No help at all. No help are they? No help at all. No help to anyone who's out of work.
crazy because <clears throat> what they do is you get you into this kind of scheme thing, like you're a cretin or something, you can't find a job. In reality, you've probably got no chance, absolutely so little chance, right? Maybe about 25, 30 now, in the north of England, London, anywhere. But the scheme is just full of lies like everything else. And it says, such a body is coming to the northwest and going to provide 30 jobs, right? That's going to make a big impact on 1,700 and whatever. But it doesn't say what the job pays, just a load of mumbo jumbo. Now, I'm not particularly hip on modern jobs, but it looks like something from The Wizard of Oz, you know, the job title. So it's like, well, right, so how would anybody over 60 really be into those things? Yeah, it's, it's just crazy, absolutely. So they get big bucks, right, for putting these things on from the government. It's called a provider, but what are they providing? Oh, another one was some kind of burger chain in uh, Liverpool. And uh, they're going to open 10 more branches, and you can guarantee you'll never hear from them. I mean, I'm from originally from a place called Chester, and there's 69 cafes. Yeah. Now, the reason it's probably all come to the dogs is last time I was there, I sat down with my kids, and grown up kids, and uh, it would have worked out 42 quid for four fish and chips. Yeah, it's like, what? Yeah, that's a basic thing. It's not like going to a really posh restaurant. Plus, you know, save going to work. It costs you an arm and a leg. You're just being scammed from day one. Now, as it costs you to work and making big money, that's the only reason you want you into jobs. It's brainwashing. It's got nothing to do with helping you. <laughs> nothing whatsoever. So, it's for them chuck 65 grand into these kind of brainwashing things it's just complete rubbish but they hope that they'll get taxed you know as much care as in the you know the pathetic wages that nurses get they put all this rubbish in the media about this virus which i personally think is rubbish as an ex-nurse who couldn't make it pay doesn't say nothing about how they're screwing the nurses for money does it you know, they're getting taxes. There's a lot of nurses in the UK. <laughs> it's just a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. You can't really find out how much tax in one day the government gets, but it's a lot. Try and find out. Just in one car that rolls off the showroom, the minute it rolls off, they get 5,000 quid. Then they get the salesman's tax. It's like Russian dolls. Open one. Bing, you got another, another load of cash.